Welcome back everyone to Pontos Fathom Hobbies. This is season two of our gameplay of Game of Thrones. It's season two, episode five. Uh, we're on round five of Mother of Dragons expansion. So we've got the Esso sideboard, had a lot of action in turn four. Uh, let's jump right into it and um, take a look at a quick recap of turn four where um, the forces of Targaryen are starting to move across. The dragons hit the board for the first time. And Greyjoy sort of moved down the coast, defeated uh, both Lan uh, Lannister and uh, Tyrrell in the sea battles. So let's see what happens uh, starting in Westeros phase for turn five. We also see the dragons at the two strength level. Uh, we were going to progress the Iron Bank across here. We've got Spymaster's full host and uh, siege engines. So looks good. Um, let's start out with the Westeros deck. So first card says supply. Adjust the supply track. Reconcile armies. So adjust the supply track. Reconcile armies. Let's go and do the supply track. So quickly, uh, uh, Baratheon. They have one, two, Two supply tracks still on two looks good. Uh, next up is Lannister. Lannister has um, one, two, three. Three supply track for Lannister. Four supply track for Lannister. So are they on four? No, Lannister gets to move up to four. Okay. Uh, next up is Stark. They have one, two. Three, four. Also, Stark moves up to. Stark stays at four. Uh, we will check. Next would be Tyrrell. One, two, three. Four. Tyrrell is also up to four now. Uh, Greyjoy. Greyjoy is lost. Has lost an area, so they are down one. So Greyjoy goes down to one supply. Also, Aaron also is down to one, staying at one. And um, Martell, one, two, three, four. They are moved up to four. And finally, Targaryen, one, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Targaryen, one, two, three, four. One, two, four, five. Yeah, okay, so Targaryen uh, can move up one. And Targaryen was also going to buy the stage engineer, for siege engineers, for uh, three. So when we reconcile the armies, let's have them also include two siege engines. Oh, they don't have siege engines. So what do they get to use instead? Um, I suppose that they can use just units to su supplant that. So we'll put units here for them instead. Uh, or knights, which knights instead, the, the horsemen, I think that covers it. So uh, we'll put them with an army of four here, so that reconciles their army of four. Greyjoy can only have a three and a two, so they'll need to move uh, a ship back here. So they have a two and a one and one and one, that's good for Greyjoy. Um, they only have the one, two. Uh, Baratheon can have three two two, which they have. Everyone else can have three three two two. And um, uh, Targaryen can have four three two two. 
Aaron can have three and two. They have that. And Stark could have three, three. So this could be three. This has to be three, three, two, two. Okay. So that reconciles that. Um, Targaryen gets the minus one for purchasing that. So it's free, actually. And let's get into the next Westeros phase card. So now we have uh, card two. We advance the wilding token, but it's last days of summer, do nothing. Uh, card three, put to the sword. The holder of the Valyrian steel chooses one. Defense orders cannot be played. March orders cannot be played. No restrictions. Uh, they think I think that they will go, Pike will go for no restrictions so they can continue pirating the coast. So let's continue. Uh, word spreads quickly. In turn order, each player moves a loyalty token to an adjacent area if the Targaryen player may cancel. So first, let's place a loyalty token in um, the Cracklow Point. We can place a loyalty token in the Cracklow Point. Uh, so first, we let's, let's first move the, our loyalty tokens, and then we can place the, the loyalty tokens. We'll do it that way. Okay. So first, we'll move. Let's move this loyalty token here, and let's move this loyalty token here, and we'll move uh, this loyalty token. Well, that one cannot move. So those are the and this loyalty token. We can also move to. Uh, we can move here. Okay. So we've got two loyalty tokens there. Then we can place two loyalty tokens, one in Cracklow Point and one in uh, the Three Towers. Grab one more loyalty point. And then because of this, uh, Targaryen has forces here. So these can be claimed. So we can move one, two, up to three victory points for the claiming of those, correct? Uh, yes, so these get placed back, and that will wrap up the Westeros phase. I, I think next we will uh, next let's go to um, the planning phase. So we can place our tokens. I'll just start with Targaryen here because I'm just going to go in order of this because it's easier. I will make the vassals out of the remaining houses. So Greyjoy, Tyrrell, Arryn, and Martell. I'm going to make those vassal houses now. So let's demote everyone down and we'll put House Stark up here, House Baratheon here, House Lannister here, and then in the same order that they were before we move them to the back, back plane here. Okay, and then also Stark, uh, Baratheon can move up to here, and we'll move these down. And also Baratheon, Stark, Rachel, we're going to move who up? We will move up. Well, Tar uh, Targaryen cannot move up, so they always stay in the back plane. Okay, so this way we can use the vassal tokens. We'll let this go a little bit smoother now. So let's just kind of simulating. What we're simulating here is let's say that some players didn't want to play anymore. So now we can just use the vassal tokens for each of them. So we'll assign these vassal tokens and we'll play these on the board instead. So let's um, let's do that. Uh, and we can just put them like this to keep track. These will be Greyjoy. Oh, we'll do it later. It's fine. Okay, so uh, Targaryen placing forces. Let's place a mustering here. We'll place a mustering uh, as well here. Actually, if I use this one as a mustering, we can use that. Uh, then we'll also use uh, another mustering here. And we'll put a mustering, we'll put a token here. They will also put a mustering
here. Okay, so let us, and then we can have this one as well uh, here. So we get through Targaryen, let's go to the other ones. So Lannister. Okay, let's have, uh, okay, Lannister placed, Baratheon, you can place Baratheon here, here, and here. We can place Stark. And we will place, we will use our vassal uh, points. So we'll, we'll have this one be vassal point here. Uh, here. Here. We'll have vassals for, and we'll just leave one behind just to say that this one is on. It's fine, we'll just use them. Greyjoy as well. Have them here, here, and here. Uh, next is, we can use the last coin as well. Uh, we also have a Baratheon up here, so let's have this one just be this. We'll place um, Martell here, 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 and here. And finally, we will have uh, Sea Road Marches here, here, and here. Okay, here. Okay, so we've used the tokens for the Vassal play. Uh, let's jump into the reveal actions. So I'll just kind of go across the board here. This, this token is not in use. Reveal, 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 reveal. Okay, reveal, 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 reveal. So, oh yeah, okay, so there's gonna be a Baratheon combat with um, Mar House Martell. We're gonna move some troop movements from Targaryen here. We're gonna have some Lannister attack as well. Uh, some strong, some protection by Arn. So let's, uh, get into the resolution of the reveal. We will uh, go right, oh, did I put these tokens? Okay, yeah. So let's go right into the uh, raid tokens. Raid tokens here will cancel, and raid tokens here will cancel, and raid token here will cancel, and Raid tokens here. Um, cancel as well. So that is okay. So let's move into March orders. Uh, for the March orders, let's start with House Baratheon. Uh, so Baratheon's at the top of the order. They're going to go into an attack against the House Martell in Shipbreaker Bay into um, the East Summer Sea. Summer is coming. East Summer Sea, House Baratheon, and uh, House Martell. Uh, put in the cards here. Let's just grab this here. 
Thomas Baratheon has um, House Baratheon has got a card and House Martell have a card. So we have Sir Axel Florent and Quentin Martell. So it comes to one, two, three, four. So this is going to be on the side of House Baratheon. They retreat back. So Baratheon wins the, that one. Uh, let's go into next is House Lannister. Uh, House Lannister uh, will attack into Kingswood. So Lannister will attack into Kingswood against Baratheon as opposed to going against the dragons. I think that's their only option there. So they will go into attack mode against Baratheon. So it's two, three, four, minus one is three versus three, four. So let's see what they can do. Lannister and uh, Baratheon. Baratheon versus Lannister. We'll have the reveal here of this one is three versus four, Sir Davos, Davin Lannister. So this blocks this, so three, four, five, four, five. It's up to the king, Baratheon will win, so they are going to uh, have to retreat to here and lose, lose a unit as a result. So they lose one unit, they retreat, so that's a failure for Lannister. Uh, let's go into, next would be House Stark. House Stark will go in on the attack into um, the Vale. House Stark goes in the attack on the Vale. We'll pull a card from Stark. We'll pull a card from the veil. So we have three, four, five versus two. They get zero plus four. It's four and five versus four. Uh, they retreat to here, let's say. So they have taken the veil. They will leave a force behind in the fingers. And victory for House Stark. Okay, so next would be House Targaryen, I guess, because we're going to sort of skip the uh, the vassal play unless it's support. So for House Targaryen, they will uh, oh, they reveal this one. So they have a marching order here. Didn't see that before. So the marching order, let's have them uh, move a troop into the Reach, which they can claim now and... Uh, they claim this from the reach, so this goes back into the pile, and they can advance to four for their conquest. Well, this is actually the strategy here. Uh, let's have them... Actually, King's Landing is not occupied, so let's just have a knight move into King's Landing, and we... Oh, well, we can take it. We need to have a, a force that moves in here. So, King's Landing... We'll have an attack into King's Landing, let's say. So we're, well, then technically that they've just left King's Landing. So this this unit is only for the NPC. So this does not get played here. So if we take the stronghold, let's just say we have to take the stronghold anyway, uh, guys. Let me know in the rules how how that one works. But let's just attack the stronghold. So we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight versus five. So King's Landing falls to. The Targaryens here, and then let's have um, let's have this dragon and knight move here, and this also dragon mustering will fly down to the towers. Uh, well, let's just have both of these dragons fly down to the towers, I guess. All right, let's have both of these dragons fly down to the towers with the attacks of plus one, minus one here. And then they can claim another round. So that is five. 
but they have to defeat this. So it's four minus one, three, five, they take the tower. So this now is a fiefdom of, of uh, Targaryen. So they've taken two citadels in this, and they've not taken this one yet, but they have also taken King's Landing. So this is a number of victories now for um, Targaryen. We can place one here just to sort of show this is theirs now. Uh, Targaryen has moved up to position five on the track. And uh, let us now check out. Is there? Oh, so then the last combat I think we will do uh, will come from, again, from Targaryen. They have a minus one and a one for mustering here. They will move from the troops to the Vale of Arn with a minus one for this horse. But then these three troops can move here, keeping their four army limit with a plus zero with support from the sea. So we have three, three from House Stark versus uh, two, three, four, five, minus one is four, five, six, Stark and Targaryen can pick a card for this combat. So it looks like we're going to take the, the Veil. Uh, they do play Ramsay Bolton. So they have three, four, five, six. And we will play Cal uh, Drago with a four. So Cal Drago and Ramsay Bolton. So this is Obviously, it's Targaryen wins. They can retreat back to the fingers. And that is going to do it for... Um, that's going to do it for the gameplay. So let me clean up the board. Uh, that was a huge, massive turn. Targaryen uses the dragons, collects a number of the loyalty points. We had a, a big win on the loyalty points there. Uh, Lannister has lost the most, I'd say, in this round, but I think House Aaron is almost at the point of extinction here. So let's, uh, let's see how it goes in turn six. You can check out the link over here, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching, and like and subscribe. Bye-bye.